holidays. You know, it being Christmas season and all, I was thinking, as far as my writers are concerned, I'm kind of like Santa Claus. Every day they write me a bunch of jokes and then I judge whether their jokes are naughty or nice. And then I go on TV and I say the naughty ones. <laughs> So I thought we could play a little game with this monologue. Here's how it's gonna happen. I'm going to start a joke, and then my writers will each pitch me a punchline to finish it. I'll pick my favorite, and that writer will get the greatest gift of all, my approval. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. The other two won't walk away empty-handed. Oh, no, 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 because they'll get slimed. <laughs> Because it's the Christmas show, in addition to slime, we've got fake snow, eggnog, gingerbread, and a little milk and cookies. This is whose slime is it anyway? Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas to me, writers. Come on out, give them a round of applause. Come on out, come on out. Oh, yeah. Give it up for Jonathan, Chelsea, and Sergio, everybody. Now, now, now. Before everyone jumps on me for torturing my writers during the holidays, I need everyone to know this was actually the writer's idea. You pitched this to me, didn't you? Unfortunately. You did. This was yeah. your idea. Yeah. Bunch of freaks. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Here is your first joke set up. You will have to finish the joke. Santa Claus is a lot like my ex. Santa Claus is a lot like my ex. No matter how good I am, they both only come once a year. <laughs> ah, OK, OK. Chelsea. Santa Claus is a lot like my ex. Both of their personalities were defined by Coke. <laughs> That's a smart one. That's a smart one, I gotta say. All right. Sergio, tell me a joke, my friend. Santa Claus is a lot like my ex. Tim Allen has been in both of them. <laughs> this is a tough, tough choice, I gotta say. But first of all, you might want to put your goggles on. <laughs> it's about to get real, y'all. It's about to get real. I think my favorite joke was Sergio, which means Jonathan and Chelsea, good luck! Wow! Writers, your next joke. Here is the setup. We all meet up with our families for the holidays. But I'm not looking forward to that big family dinner because, Jonathan, hit me. I, um, I'm not looking forward to that big family dinner because my dad's gonna do an inappropriate in impression of Richard Pryor, and then he's gonna set himself on fire. How does the slime taste? It's, it's actually not bad. <laughs> all right, Chelsea, hit me with a joke. Okay, I'm not looking forward to that big family dinner because my mom only knows how to make one thing me feel bad. <laughs> you have your dad's face. <laughs> Sergio, hit me with a joke. Oh, uh, I'm not looking forward to that big family dinner. Every year I hope this is the year they're going to tell me I'm adopted, and every year I'm disappointed. <laughs> I do think that Chelsea had the most relatable joke, so you are the winner of this round, Chelsea. Yeah. Hit Jonathan with the snow and Sergio with the slime. Yeah. All right, next up, your setup is eggnog is weird. Jonathan, tell me why eggnog is weird. Eggnog, <clears throat> eggnog is weird. It's got milk, eggs, it's kind of thick. It's like someone said I wanted a breakfast smoothie, but I still want to get drunk. Okay, Chelsea, hit me with a joke. Uh, okay. <laughs> Eggnog is weird. If I wanted something milky with my eggs, I just wouldn't use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> you want? I respect that. I respect that so much. Sergio, hit me with a joke. Hey, eggnog's weird. <laughs> But not so, 
That's so weird. Because eggnog and I have a lot in common. We're thick, sweet, and I'm a lot better with a little rum in me. Ooh. <laughs> All great jokes. Yeah. But this round goes to Chelsea, my <laughs> friend. We got two more. You ask me, the best stocking stuffer is? Well, Lily, since we live here in California, we've got a lot of earthquakes. <laughs> yep. I think we got to be prepared. So mm -hmm. in my stocking, I want water, batteries, and a flashlight <laughs> for, for emergencies. Very matter of fact. <laughs> Very matter of fact. All right. Hit me, Chelsea. If you ask me, the best stocking stuffer is the gams of a classy broad. You know what I mean? A woo -ga. I really appreciate how hard you committed to that. Really. All right, Sergio. Uh, if you ask me, the best stocking stuffer is uh, about six inches long, can keep me entertained for hours, and vibrates. I'm talking about the new iPhone. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, I actually really appreciate the misdirect. So, Sergio, you win that round. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, look, clumpy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the last, last one. People are traveling a lot for Christmas. It got me thinking, what's the deal with airplane food? Jonathan. I'm just going to go five for five here. Please. Uh, <laughs> Tell me what the deal with airplane food is. What's the deal with airplane food? Yeah, tell him. It's always running in his mouth. Yo, airplane food, you know where I live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just I, live him now. Yeah. <laughs> I respect you a lot. <laughs> and I like you as a person. I appreciate that. And now I'm going to slime you. Oh, yeah, bring it. I deserve it. <laughs> uh, oh, that's extra cold. Chelsea, what's your joke? OK. Uh, what's the deal with airplane food? Every time I eat it, an hour later, I need to make an emergency water landing. I hope you like eggs, because you're about to get egg dog. All right. I'm in a really giving mood, as you can see. So Sergio, what is your joke? Uh. Hey, what's the deal with airplane food? I mean, who do planes even eat? Cars? <laughs> you are the winner of this round, which means if there's anything else, Jonathan and Chelsea, you're getting it. <laughs> this is the best Christmas ever. That was Who Slime Is It Anyway?